All right, friends, today is Tuesday, February the 5th. I'm Aaron Michael Eschenberger. This is your Daily Horoscope. So, how was that new moon for you yesterday on Monday, right? New moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is electric. Electric, right? It is the, it is the water between the air that allows electricity to flow. That lightning bolt strike of aha, right? Uh, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus or associated with the planet Uranus, which is that like, aha, that breakthrough moment. Okay. Uranus right now is over there in Aries. So this is about self breakthroughs, self breakthroughs, right? The moon up there, the new moon that happened yesterday, the moon starts moving away from the sun and it's now conjunct Mercury, which Mercury is the messenger, the messenger of the gods, the trader of goods, you know, trading of services back and forth, exchanging ideas, exchanging facts. Mercury up there with the moon, making a sextile to Uranus and to Mars in Aries. Moon and Mercury also making a sextile over to Jupiter in Sagittarius, right? So we are in the middle here. We're in the crossroads, baby. <laughs> We're in the crossroads. To our right, we have uh, self-awareness, self-breakthroughs. To our left, we have expansive, expansiveness, expansion, personal expansion, expansion with others, myself and others. So the cool thing is, again, the moon and the sun and Mercury are all in Aquarius, which is about the sign of the community. We're in the community. And again, we have self breakthrough over here, community in the middle and over here to the left is, is the expansion of all these things. Expansion, expansion, more information, more information, more faith, more believing, believing that we can, believing that we are and knowing that we're good enough and knowing that we need to be involved with the community to really shine, to really grow. You know, it's when it's, you know, here in Metro Detroit, if you're watching, if you're from the local area, you know, it's finally it's got a little bit warmer, but I mean, it's cold when we're in this cold, you know, this time of the year, we kind of hibernate, you know, and it's that's that adds to depression. We're in a place of global mass depression. Astrologically, this has been going on for a couple of years. We're moving away. These aspects are moving away from it. And that is the Pluto to Uranus. OK, every time these two meet each other in square, this is tension. This is uh, internal tension outside world to the internal world, outside internal, outside internal. It's, we're finding this balance, finding this balance. That's what the Zodiac is all about is finding that balance. And right now this is saying, be a part of the community. When we, when we isolate ourselves, when we go into hibernation mode, it only kind of, we kind of deepen, we deepen in, in our, on our own misery, you know? Uh, and sometimes that's a double edged sword because when we're feeling down, we don't want to necessarily be around other people because we love our friends and our family and we don't want to bring them down too. But yet we want to talk about some of these things. And if we talk about it, then it's just this ongoing spiral down, right? So, so we kind of have this opportunity and this, this like break through this. Be a part of the community. Seek outside of yourself. Seek outside of your own knowledge, says Jupiter, says Venus and Sagittarius. This is going outside. If I just sit here in my own space, stirring in my own head, you know, it's not productive. It's not productive. It's not, you know, it's not the breakthroughs that we need. That's, you know, brr. so this is about self breakthroughs going up and out. And this is about information coming in Mercury and the moon and Aquarius This is information. This is electric. Okay. This is, this is good. This is a good day, but we have to be aware of these, of these sextiles that are happening. That's creating, uh, these aren't creating tension so much, but it's again, like the following the intuition of your own personal self and how our own self fits in with the community. And this is where the, the, that can be the conflict, you know, it's like, sorry, Dave, I know you're a nudist, but you got to put clothes on, you know, or <laughs> that's to an extreme, you know what I mean? I don't know who Dave is, but I guess he's a nudist. So <laughs> whatever it is for you, it's like, you know, slight conforming thing where we're, you know, we're, we're chiseling our own David right now. We're rounding out the edges. Yeah. So as we're rounding out the edges on this beautiful day, a lot of information is going to come in. A lot of things are going to come up into the light that we're going to see and become aware of, which is great. And then we can apply these to our lives and we can, you know, round this out over here, smooth this out over here and expand over there. So it's going to be an amazing Tuesday. It's going to be an amazing Tuesday. It already is an amazing Tuesday. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you ever want a reading from me, please drop me a line uh, right through here through Messenger. 
um, or email right now at everythingaudio at gmail.com. Uh, I got a website called Waking Masters. It's it's in the process. It's on Facebook. Uh, we're we're going to get our Instagram going soon and the uh, the website itself, so it'll be a little bit easier to find some of this information and to get a, get a hold of me if that's something you want to do, which I highly recommend. The more you know about your own personal chart and the more you understand some of these things that are happening and you can relate them, you know, it's like, okay, well, we're at 15 degrees Aquarius is this, this, you know, new moon. So what's it 15 degrees for you? My, my Mars is 15 degrees Aquarius, my natal chart. That new moon was right today was right, or excuse me, <laughs> yesterday was right on my Mars. You know what I mean? So how that's affecting me is, you know, is, uh, globally, this is affecting all of us, but it's, you know, how that's hitting this Mars and go. Uh. So if you know your own chart, this stuff amps up in tremendously in how it affects us. So if you don't know your own chart, there's a lot of cool pages out there that you can just put your birth date info in and knowing the time and the place you're born is super important. And if you want a reading, it, it, you know, we get even deeper because it's not just looking at where the stuff is natally, it's talking about where it's at now and how that's affecting what's going on in your personal chart. Always cool, fun stuff. So thank you as always. Have an amazing Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.